The DOE has just been an outstanding partner, and uh, I'm really glad to be welcoming you here at this time. So welcome to Detroit. And what the systems of the future are going to look like and how they're going to address this sort of new frontier. I think that the, the major gains to be made in lighting are in health. Wavelength is really where the most important advances have been made in the past decade or so, and this is really where solid state lighting comes into its own. We're thinking a lot less about the physical hardware and a lot more about what goes behind the hardware, the software, the controls, the connectivity. How do you specify product when it's constantly changing? I don't know if it's any solace, but as a manufacturer, we're kind of in the same boat. I'm going to dive a little uh, deeper into the compatibility issues. The connection uh, between what Scott was talking about, the light module and the driver and the controls. Well, sometimes I don't want more lumens. I designed around a specific lumen package just because you've got 20% more lumens does not mean I'm going to be 20% happier. I was very excited for this conversation to, to hear the feedback and listen to ideas. This was a very kind of a blunt and realistic perspective that you, it's, it's different from what I typically hear. This project was all part of the Smart America Challenge, which is a White House initiative. That savings is from the start of the project, so since June 4th. And you're only talking about 5,000 square feet. How many power supply modules serve this space right here? Uh, I think you said three. Oh, great. Oh, great. Do you think that there's a potential for any kickback here that a 25,000 hour projected bulb won't actually last that long? If it fails, um, Hopefully it will be covered by a robust warranty from a reputable manufacturer and my hope or assumption is that another LED will go back into that socket and we won't experience snapback. Interoperability facilitates the sharing of data. I think that's, that's really the key point. Smart lighting isn't necessarily constrained to the light itself. It, it's part of a network system that actually impacts our environment.